Hi, this is a demonstration of Spectrum Spatial Connect. We're going to show how quick and easy it is to be able to create custom applications that use location intelligence data from the Spectrum server combined with other data so key decisions can be made. In this example, it's a retail network optimization example. And the idea is that on the right hand side, I've got my mobile phone, is that a field worker can go into the field and be able to access things like geosegmentation data, have a look at things like proposed sites, um, capture data um, while they are in the field, um, do things like checklists, um, all while using a mobile device, um, so a tablet or phone. And that's all visible as well on via a web browser. Um, again, we've got things like the, the geosegmentation layers over here. Um, we've got competitor data. All that's coming from the Spectrum server. If I clicked on one of these little uh, markers, we can see that's a new proposed site uh, which captures some custom fields. So we're going to build a, a subset of this. We'll do it quickly. We won't do all the fields. But if we looked at things like a site attractiveness assessment, it might go through and, and, and uh, re capture a whole bunch of different bits of information um, based on, on the specific requirements. So for, we'll, we'll start from scratch. Um, we're going to add a, the Cameo later, so the geosegmentation, and then we'll add the proposed sites to the demo. So let's go and um, see how easy it is, quick and easy it is to be able to create this using Spectrum Spatial Connect. So in the browser on the left-hand side, um, I could start from a template. I'm just going to start from a, a blank application. Um, so we'll just call this uh, Retail Demo 1. Uh, we'll just publish that. Now, one of the only things I need to do to get started is add an advanced map. We won't worry about the default location because that will be derived from the data. And then what we need to be able to do is we need to be able to add uh, data from the Spectrum Spatial feature tables and, and layers. So to do that, the first thing we need to do is just put in some credentials uh, for that server. And I'm just going to paste my demo servers. And this would be obviously your Spectrum Spatial server. Um, I'm going to uh, so put in the username. Um, I'm just going to get the... Um, the tile URL. So some of these some of these parameters are optional, and I just want to make sure that I've put the right password in there. Let's do that. Cool. So so now what we can do is we can actually go in and access data from that Spectrum server. So we'll choose Spectrum Spatial, and we can search for um, one of the layers that are that are available there. And we'll choose this one over here, which is the the Cameo layers. The only thing we need to do to create that application and grab that data is click Import and Create. And what you'll see over here is it'll actually start creating um, and, and importing that data and, and creating that layer. Um, while that's happening, what I might do is actually create the proposed sites application as well, which is a slightly different application that's going to be custom. And we'll just do a subset of what we had a look at the demo. So I'm going to add an application. Um, over here, which is just a blank app. So here it is. Um, we'll call this uh, proposed um, uh, proposed sites, proposed um, sites. And we can now go and add some fields um, to, to this application. So we might have, uh, let's say we want to put a site name in there. Um, we might want to um, we, we, want, we want to have an offline location, um, so we want to know where the, where the, um, where the location of the site is. Um, we might want to add the ability to capture photos and images of the site, and we might want a, um, a select list that we're going to use for traffic um, flow to capture some data around that. Um, and we could also add other items over here, like, um, uh, for example, like a checklist. So let's just do that. So we'll call it site name. We'll give us one over here, um, uh, view over here, location. Um, and um, we'll call this pics. Um, and then we'll go um, traffic um, flow. Uh, and again, just for purposes of a demo, we'll keep this really simple. We'll go cars. Um, we'll go cars, um, trucks. Um, oops. Uh, trucks and... Um, and we'll just give an option for mixed. And we can display this, for example, as a button. We can have a preview of what that, what that application will look like. Um, 
and then uh, we, we can also predefine things like a checklist. So we might just call this a checklist um, and we'll, we'll add in an item over here. So we've done um, traffic flow um, assessment. Um, uh, we've also done a uh, uh, competitive assessment. Uh, just um, fix that spelling up. Um, and then we're also going to do a site check. So, so again, and all of these fields, you can um, define who can edit them, who can change them, who can view them. Um, there's validation formula and all sorts of capabilities. So you can build fairly sophisticated apps. So that's pretty much it. So um, the one thing we need to do though is we need to add this proposed site. We want to be able to see where they are on the map and also allow a user to, to um, view that on, on the map. So um, let's see over here. So our data over here should be imported. We've imported the Cameo data. Um, we also want to be able to add that layer of that proposed site. So we're just going to use, um, oh, actually we're going to use an existing app in this example. Uh, we're going to type the name of the application. So it doesn't have to exist on this app. It could be something that's, um, that's shared across multiple apps. And we're going to add that layer to the map. So now that will allow us to add in um, layers based on, um, based on the data that's been captured. Over here, we can see here's our Cameo data. Um, by default, we're just getting small amounts of data. So we're getting like 10 at a time. Um, you could change those settings to get in a hundred or thousand or whatever you know makes sense. So um, let's have a look at how that how that looks on the mobile device. Um, so I'm going to open that up um, on my phone. So, so we can see the Cameo data coming in. The default setting of that is to go and grab some of that data for the proposed site. It will actually put that in as a layer. Now, if I click into that map, it'll now take me to that data, um, and what we'll see now is if I hit the um, if I hit the little uh, pencil down the bottom right on my mobile phone, I can hit the plus symbol and I can add a proposed site to the map. So let's just add one in there. So we're going to add that point. We can click in here. We can save them. And now we're going to say, here's our um, site. It's going to have a location in there. We could add a photo. We could put, um, there's our buttons for, for that. And we've done a traffic flow assessment. We haven't done the other things. And we can submit that. Now, what I'll show you is just before I hit submit, um, uh, when I click submit on my phone, um, on the server, you'll see that data will be uploaded. Um, when, if it's offline, it will process it when it comes back online. But now we can see that, that that point over there has been added. And there it is on the map. I can click on that map and I can see that data. So there it is, traffic flows, cars, assessment, um, and, and so on. So it's that easy to be able to create an application. Obviously, I could go and design my app, add other fields to capture all sorts of um, different types of data, add files, more checklists, and so on. And again, I can see that the data on that map in context of the other location intelligence data that's been provided by the Spectrum, Spectrum Spatial Server. So um, hopefully that gives you a good idea of how quick and easy it is to be able to create an application. Um, we look forward to hearing about all the cool things that people do with this uh, and um, have fun out there. Thanks for watching.